welcome back to the Simple Ground Homestead and Building an Off-Grid Yurt Part 6. I feel like this segment needs to start with a little bit of explanation because it's kind of complicated and it was hard to get right. The task at hand was to make 24 equal length and equal angle sides so that the walls, the pre-made walls, will fit perfectly. According to Smiling Woods Yurts, the company that sold us this kit, the walls do have a little bit of give. Uh, they could hang over or under the outside of the rim, but what we found out is it was really easy to be off. If you're off even a 32nd of an inch all the way around with every single board, it would take us completely out of proportion, almost an inch. So what we did was we fastened these one bys to the outside diameter with screws so we could adjust them, you know, in or out as needed. And now I'm going around with a 2x4 to measure where I need to cut to apply the rim joists to the outside. After putting in all that effort to make that precision line, I had to go back and cut it and imagine all those angle adjustments and cutting it with a circular saw. I did the best I could and I thought I could make up for any errors, but I found out that it wasn't as easy as I thought. We went around this one way and ran into some trouble, so we thought we'd go back around the other way and try it out. And, you know, for the most part it worked, but as we made it clear around to the end, we found out that we were into some trouble. And I'll show you some of the footage from the actual event. So guys, we've made it around and put up the rim joists most of the way around, but we found trouble right here at this spot. Apparently we are off just enough that we can't get these boards to line up and we're not quite sure how to fix it either. It was a lot of work to hang all these. We're off about two three quarters inches. Not quite sure what we're going to do. <sighs> On the bright side though, uh, it does look like a rim and it is taking shape. We are feeling pretty good about that. Just a harder job than, well, than I feared. And I have to get it right or the walls won't fit. But yeah, it's been a long day, so maybe it's back to the drawing board. Maybe we can have a better solution tomorrow. I guess we'll see what what happens. Give it a try. It's kind of nice how a night's rest can help bring in a new perspective. So Jared showed you last night the problem we were having trying to get these rim joists installed. And this morning we have come up with a couple of solutions, or I should say Jared has. The first one is the slab of wood we have going on right here. We screwed some wood underneath each of the rim joists so that we could just take out the nails that we've used to tack them on and they'd have a little shelf to sit on. That way we could scoot things around and, and shuffle things around as needed to try to get rid of some of our extra inches, which has made about a half of an inch difference so far. So that has been helpful and now it gives us a place we can kind of set things down while we finish working on things. The second thing we're doing is trimming off maybe about an eighth of an inch on each board. Hoping that that'll add up and maybe help us cover that two inches that's hanging out. Let's see what happens. Alright, first time around, this is how much overlap we have. So. The trimming seemed to work. I've gone from two and a half inches down to this quarter inch. Now we're going to tack it on and see if we can adjust that quarter inch or not before we go and do anything else. More cutting. <laughs> well, in the end, it worked out nicely. Uh, we tacked it all on. There wasn't very much left, so we just trimmed off that eighth of an inch that was needed and we put it all on. After we had that all on, we worked on the deck here. The deck came together really nicely. Uh, it 
wasn't quite the same level of precision necessary and it was a breath of fresh air to have it just fall together so we have that and we get to move on to the next thing hooray all right here's our big pile of wood we are going to put down subfloor today and as soon as we started pulling everything out to do it the rain came so we're we're prepared i already knew that it was going to be rainy today, but today's a sunshiny day <laughs> compared to the most days. Anyway, so I bought, instead of getting OSB, I bought this regular plywood. I think it's going to be better for our environment. And I bought glue that's intended to be used while wet or on wet wood um, to a certain extent. So we're going to wait for the sun to come out and let the surface dry, and then we're going to get to work on this thing. I'm excited. It's going to look a lot more like a house when it's all done. So, wish us luck. We're going to dig in. Our kids are excited too. <laughs> Morning of day two, putting down the subfloor. Should have all been done yesterday, but I bought the wrong screws. So I was working by myself a little bit while Audrey went and got the right screws. But today we should finish and maybe get a wall up. We'll see what we can do. Um, yeah, day two. <laughs> Let's go.
have been waiting for this for so long and it seems unreal that it is actually happening. We are uncovering this pile. Would you look at that? <laughs> 